hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel uh, today i'm showing how to present the drawing uh, like a cable tray drawing how you can present the how, how you can give the dimensions and everything so if you like my video please subscribe my channel it's related to autocad and rivet so i'll show you how to how, how it's work okay so this is one long section and i'm giving some dimensions also and even the cable tray supports and everything so i'll, I'll deleting this one for uh, for practicing okay so i'll just delete this one okay and even the cable trace okay deleted and here is one plan power plan okay so i will i'll make three cables three one one layer of cable tray okay so we'll go to the system and go to the cable tray and uh, here is i'm using uh, this one is power one or oh, power one okay power one on cable tray and i am giving 600 mm uh, diameter for this one and the level i am choosing uh, 3000 okay so I'll, I'll i'll draw like this okay one cable tray for example i will start from here okay i'll draw like this and another cable tray you can choose whatever you need okay with different dimensions is available so i'm choosing same size of cable tray uh, cable tray 2 so i'll take it from here and i am drawing like this and another cable tray i am using uh, cable tray three okay so i'll just uh, draw like this okay so three cable tray i made it okay the, if, if you look go to the um, uh, like uh, i need to make one sections over here okay sections you can get it from here okay so you can stretch this one and you can move up to here okay so i'll go to view so it's showing like this go to here the fine and you can change the scale of 50 and uh, you can stretch this one so it's look like this okay so one cable tray one cable tray will move to uh, this side okay so here is two cable tray going on one, one cable tray going there okay so the next step is the cable tray support you can get it in the family and if you don't have the family i sh show I sh tell me i will I'll, I'll provide to you and go to the plan okay so here we can place that one if you need to rotate the uh, this one you can just uh, rotate uh, press uh, space bar so it will be rotate okay so this this one is uh, we we place it here so we'll go here and you place like this okay so you can stretch it from here also as per the dimensions you can adjust it and if you go to the uh, go to the section so you can see the cable tray if you, um, it was it was showing here so you just move to this one from here to near to the cable tray so i'm placing one one here and you can stretch it from this one to here otherwise you can adjust on here okay so the width and everything you can adjust from here okay so i will just put this one um 600 okay so as per that it will it will, it will adjust okay so this one we can move to move to here okay so these two sides so you can adjust as per your cable tray calculations and support calculations okay so this one we can we can off also this one from here okay so we have five uh, layers so we will just keep it as a uh, two layer or three layer something like that so you can stretch from here okay and uh, always you just uh, the simple thing is you can move this one up to here okay the first layer okay so then then you can stretch from here to the down to the slab okay so the first layer is adjusted and the and you can um, adjust from here also okay if you if you close from here the first layer will be gone okay so if you open a uh, second layer so it will be gone from here so this is this is uh, like the first one so i will i will choose uh, first layer first one so uh, this one is second okay so this i think there will be some gaps okay so you can you can i think this one is wireframe i will make it as a wireframe okay so this gap you can increase okay so from here i am choosing this one 500 okay so that will be increased okay so uh, from here i can give like uh, the first one you can give uh, uh, 300 
so that will uh, that like that you can uh, arrange it okay so we'll, we'll choose 100 so it will close to that one okay so i will choose that one like uh, 200 okay okay so like that you can adjust it, this thing so you will we'll move up to this one here okay as per the cable tray supports you can move that one and uh, here we can adjust this one like a 250 okay 250 so it will it will come equally okay so i will copy this one copy and uh, you can uh, multiple okay just copy one layer and copy two layer so it's it's work okay so uh, if, if just deleting this one okay so you can if you go to the 3d so how it's look you can see here so it's look like this okay yes it was looking like this so you can stretch this one down and you can see all the view okay from here to here how it's work it's okay it, it was looking like this so if you want to copy uh, more this one with the support so you copy it okay copy from here okay and uh, you can uh, wherever uh, the distance you can give wherever you need it was creating in the uh, automatically you can see that it was creating in the uh, in in the 3d view also so you copy it uh, copy okay copy from here and pick one one base point and you can choose this one like this so easily that one is created so other thing is like uh, you can copy the same set you need in another side also you can copy from here and you can do the, do the things like because maybe your calculation is different so i'm just giving an example how it's work okay um, so next step is how we can give the tag of this tag for this cable tray and dimensions for this cable tray go to the annotate and you can get the align dimensions and you can just take it from here and you can give the dimensions like this so you can easily get the dimensions of the cable trays and you can arrange this one as a like a presentation wise good way so like that we are arranging and preparing for the shop drawing time you can uh, very useful for this one very useful for this one so you can arrange the cable tray dimensions also like this okay so you can move a little bit here okay. just like that okay and next is like you can give the tag also uh, tag by category and you can just put it on the wherever which cable tray you need you can uh, give the tag also like this and tag by this one and arrange properly in one line this whole things okay the all the cable tray you can arrange like this and even you can give the cable tray tag for this one also and you can put the wherever you need and you adjust it as per the space of the drawing sheets okay so it was working like this and even if this one also you can give wherever you need you can you can place the tag as per the space of the sheets and uh, settings you can you can adjust this one so if you go to the plan view there also you can give the tags for the all the cable trays like this you can simply give and you can adjust it where you need okay so you just make it as a good good way uh, then you then the drawing will look like uh, good and even easily you can read all the things uh, in the pdfs and everything so this is the way we can give the tag uh, tag for all uh, cable trays and good presentations and everything you can make it like this okay if you place here and you just uh, make make like this okay so it's look like this and even you can give the dimensions in the uh, plan view also so if you look required so you just uh, click where the base point from the wall or something like that you can make the dimensions also like this simply you can make all the dimensions from here you need okay so you can give the dimensions like this and if you if you go to the 3d view it's it was created here and to only showing one layer so you just stretch it up to next uh, next one so you can see here it's uh, uh, it's it was worked here so hopefully if this video is helpful for you and if you have any comments or suggestions please let me know i will uh, solve with that one simply you can give the tag and everything in the cable tray and make it as uh, this one you can place it in the sheet also if you go to the sheet okay so i will show you that one create a new sheets and uh, it will show like this okay 
so a1 metric i choose a1 metric and you can place the plan first year like that you can arrange it. the cable trade tags and everything will, will come here and you go to the sections so then you, you can get the uh, all the sections and everything you can place here also if you go here so section views you can get it and i think the section four we can place here okay section four and, uh, and next section is i think uh, section three uh, i think that is long 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 section so you can uh, move the other one other one you can move from here to here like that you can arrange it if you need three reviews then that one also you can place it here Okay, so we can place the 3D view also over here. So like that, you can make the good view of the sheets and everything. As per the as per, you can give the good uh, good presentation view on this one. So you can um, give all the views in the sheets. So if you can, uh, if you need to um, give some tag on this section also, you can give the same way, like this. Okay, so you can place the tag like this and each cable tray you need to arrange like this okay so this is a simple step and we're making a good presentation on the drawing and this is the way we are doing and go to annotate and again you can give the dimensions also here like this you can give the dimensions of each cable trays which level is going and easily you can produce the drawing so hopefully you guys enjoy my video and if you if you like my video Please subscribe my channel. It's so totally related to AutoCAD and Revit. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks for watching.